Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some weekly cleaning motivation as well as possibly some spring cleaning motivation for you guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alyssa and I post new videos on Tuesday. So let's get cleaning together and I hope you enjoy this video. So obviously my kitchen is a disaster and you guys are probably used to that by now. But all of this stuff over here is stuff that I'm getting rid of out of our fridge. And then this coffee table um, was in the front room but we cleaned off the rug so that's why it's there. And then all of that cleaning supplies belongs under the sink and we had to take it out because we put in a new hose in the faucet. So that is the general state of the kitchen. So now I'm just starting with putting the rest of these clean dishes away and then I can get all the dirty ones loaded in there. So the reason we put in a new hose on the faucet is because it's one of those hoses you can pull out and it was rubbing on I don't really know what but it was shredding and that's what those little black things I'm vacuuming up are, they're like shredded parts of the hose and it was pretty bad and it was like pretty close to getting a hole in it so we had to get a different one and hopefully this one stays fine or else we'll probably have to get a whole new faucet which I think is going to happen eventually. So before I started filming this video, I was kind of going through my fridge and cleaning it out. So all of that stuff over there is expired or old and I'm just getting rid of it. I think I've only filmed myself wiping down my fridge like two or three times in the past like year and a half that I've been on YouTube and that's because I seriously never do it. This is like a very rare occurrence but whatever the material of our fridge is it doesn't show like spots at all. The handles do a little bit but it just always looks clean so I never really wipe it down. I only have one little dish to clean and that's my brewmate koozie and I don't put this in the dishwasher and I have no idea if it's dishwasher safe or not, I just don't because I'm scared to ruin it. I 
I recently got a request to do a Q&A like get to know me video and I don't know if that's something I want to do yet we'll see but if you would like to see me do a video like that leave me a comment below and also ask me questions or give me questions you would want me to answer in that video if I end up making one. This coffee table actually belongs to the roommate that I told you in a previous video is moving out. So I didn't want to actually move it back to where it was. Um, after I clear it off, I do move it back into this living room. But surprise, we are actually doing a makeover in that first living room. So I probably won't show you guys that room for a while, which I never show you anyway. So I promise you're not missing out on anything. But I also am documenting the whole process of like re giving it a makeover. So I will eventually have a video up showing you everything that we did in that first room.
As I was videoing this, I noticed how dusty those like little island legs are. So after I mopped the floor, I wiped all of those off with a rag, which you'll see in a second. It doesn't come off well on the camera, but this wall was really gross and also full of dust. I recently discovered that you can just Swiffer your walls with a Swiffer dust mop and it works amazing. So I think I'll have to do that in all my walls. So far I've only done one room like that, but it works great. And now here's my kitchen all clean. Now moving on to the living room, that Target box has the new curtains for the first room that I was talking about and then um, the old curtains are the same as these blue ones and they're sitting right there on that white desk. I already took those down and then the rest of the living room really just needs picked up. It's not that bad, just a lot of stuff laying around.
I emptied out the vacuum before I started cleaning today so all of that is just from the kitchen and the living room. So now here's what my living room looks like all finished. Now on to the bathroom and I think soon I'm going to try to reorganize underneath the sink in here. It's just not great. I have a lot of hair tools that I just haven't quite figured out how to organize quite right. In a little bit you'll see I did get a new organizer for like the inside of one of those doors down there and it's fine but it only holds like three to four hair tools. And I think I have like six at least but I just need a better system for underneath the sink because everything kind of just gets thrown under there and it's just really messy and unorganized So this is the organizer I was telling you about. It just hangs over the door like this and it's from Target. And I ended up fitting two curling irons, a straightener, and my round brush in it. I wanted to fit my hair dryer in it, but these um, Dyson hair dryers have like really, really thick cords. And so honestly the cord was just way too big to fit in that. So. I ended up just keeping um, that hair dryer and then I also have like a Revlon like round brush blow dryer thing that I ended up keeping in the basket that it was already in before. And the only problem is with that over the door organizer, the basket doesn't like fit in into the doorway. So it's like really frustrating and I just need something that will fit all of my hair tools and I don't know if that exists yet but hopefully I find something. I was talking about this earlier but I use this exact Swiffer and this exact cloth. You could use probably any of the dry cloths and I Swiffered my walls and it was so easy and you can reach all the way to the ceiling and I got so much dust off my walls and I didn't even realize that dust just like sat on walls but it does and this was like the easiest cleaning hack ever. So 
so here's my bathroom all clean. Now I'm going to be cleaning my bedroom and washing the sheets and I this is a separate day. I didn't do this on the first day because it was getting late and I needed enough time to do two loads of laundry just because um, I can't fit all of them into one load. That was probably the fastest laundry you've ever seen but now it's all finished and it's later on in the day so I'm just making my bed and I'm just kind of making it like halfway up because I don't want to unmake it and I'm getting not rid of those red pillowcases but just putting them away for now and using some white pillowcases so that it looks more um, not even more like spring but just less like Christmas in this bedroom. That is all for this video so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next Tuesday.